Hello, this is Tarot by Tess. This is the July 2017 reading for Libra. Libra, you guys um, had a really good June. You were the only one with a positive reading. I'm not sure if I'm able to bring that to you this time, okay? Um, but I haven't really looked at everything. There's a few cards. And I do want to specify that while I was shuffling, the Five of Pentacles wanted to come out, but in the other deck. But I hadn't actually cut yet, and it came out again. So this is a significant card for you. And this, I just want to make sure that we know that this is about money loss, leaving a job, leaving a relationship. I'm seeing a lot of work in here right now, just first glance. Um, only three major arcanas, and only two of them are in the spread. And for the longest time, you only had the emperor. And that's in something that's supposed to help you. And then you got your last major arcana and your outcome, and then you have one behind here. And I'll go ahead and show it to you because it's important. The double reversed. Um, this too wanted to pop out whenever I was shuffling, and it was in this deck as well. So it's important. I think you're getting out of something toxic. So overall, the message is good, but the fact is there's, there's some toxicity. So this reading may be for people who it didn't resonate with last month because they weren't having a positive time. But either way, you're getting out of something, and that's really good. Four of Swords is being single, meditating. And what really kind of makes me wonder is usually this is religious. It's usually set in some kind of a church setting, okay, um, where the guy is just laying down like he's dead. And then Five of Pentacles is somebody who's leaving the church. So, I don't know. It makes, it makes me wonder. Um, you could be vo avoiding temptation, and this Four of Swords is like your abstinence. So it could be you're avoiding sexual relationships um, in the workplace, and that's your temptation. But temptation could be anything here. Because you don't really have many major arcanas, so I don't see something like mind-blowingly huge coming up. But something is happening. That's what's just kind of strange. You're recovering. You don't have Six of Swords, but with Four of Swords in here, I'm seeing you're going to recover from this. You just kind of need a break. Okay. Okay. With four of pentacles in here, as well as five of pentacles, there's possibly embezzlement, theft, or hoarding. And I do see somebody as very, very greedy and tyrant. I'm not saying it's you. It's probably a boss or even a lover, possibly. But, okay. I'm seeing debt overspending. But that could just be excess, like I'm seeing getting out of getting out of this. So you're, you're going to have to moderate yourself. And the thing is, we don't have temperance and we don't have um, the chariot, but I'm still seeing the need for you to moderate yourself in some way. I'm seeing out of control, and it could have to do with money. It doesn't have to, though. Because Nine of Cups, you have it, and it's just too much of a good thing. Be careful what you wish for. And you have Nine of Cups in here twice, once reversed and once upright. But the upright is just because I don't pull these cards in reverse. They're not meant to be read that way, so I don't. Except for <laughs> these little love oracles, I do. But All right, here's your current situation. Knight of Swords, this is being foolhardy and rushing in. And it's going to be you because it's an air sign, but it almost always reminds me of Aries. Just that impulsive nature, wanting things now, wanting things yesterday. So that's what I'm seeing here. And I'm seeing you're a bright person. And you're very capable and even brave. Yeah, with Nine of Cups, I'm seeing acting with bravery and getting a reward. Okay. So I think it's brave for somebody to, oh, Four of Swords, check into rehab. 
That would make sense. Okay. Because four of swords to me can be checking into rehab. It doesn't have to be, but it could just be getting being single or getting away from something that you were addicted to or it was just toxic. And that could be job, relationship, drugs. We don't even have the moon in here, but it could be. Whatever the devil is to you, that's what it is. So this is good news. And with the four of swords in here and nine of cups twice, you you are very brave to like, make the decision to go into rehab. Also see people getting new love admirers. Um, a lot of like rapid, spontaneous change, romantic surprises, or just different kind of encounters. This is a communication coming from somebody. It could be like a, if it's not you, then it's somebody close to you bringing a message. Maybe somebody who's uh, military-like. That's what I think of when I think of this. It could be like a police officer, fireman, something in that line of work. Because this is a brave person. Could be a police officer, journalist. They just—they're the ones that go into the front line. And I'm seeing it's almost like you're—you're you're having to fight a war on the front lines with this temptation. All right, now we have six of pentacles. So this is money. This is somebody paying out money. So I can see embezzlement here, okay? Um, but to me, this is also making sure everything is equal, okay? Now, I don't pull these in reverse. So it could be saying there's not um, equality going on here. Like there's an excess of something. It could be too impulsive, rushing into something. So I'm seeing slow down. And also moderate yourself, because the this guy usually has a balance. Okay, he usually has three coins um, for each person, and they're supposed to each get one or each get three, and so it's supposed to be equal in giving and taking. Um, so that's going to be your main theme. That's that's what I found out that the number six means is harmony, harmonizing, working together. You do have three of pentacles in here. Um, so again, I'm seeing leaving the church as well as leaving a job and needing to work together when somebody's not. Okay. You have some sevens in here as well. So, I'm seeing go slow. Possibly going to rehab because of an excess. Because I'm not saying this has happened yet. This could be your outcome in a weird sort of way. But there is some religious themes in here. So it may be that the place you go to is like a St. Joseph's Hospital. Okay, that's the kind of thing I'm thinking of. All right, now for your issue, obstacle, or fate, we got two people cards. Okay, neither one of these is you. So I'm just wondering if you're not the one with the the problem so it's probably somebody close to you and this is you trying to save them it could be a fire sign but my I'm I'm kind of leaning towards this queen of cups because she's in reverse and that's like a drinking problem and being imbalanced um and we're always we're trying to achieve balance here we've already talked about that and I think she's being secretive and it doesn't have to be a girl okay Yeah, I see alcohol and substance abuse. And I think it's causing some self-loathing about talents, um, skills, being able to do more with yourself. It doesn't have to be you specifically, though. Or you may feel like you can't do enough. This could be somebody's mother here, and this could be somebody's father. And you may be a little upset that your father's not helping out your mother with this problem or they're not recognizing it because look, he's looking away. This could be about your parents. So a fire sign father, water sign mother. Now these energies could switch. I'm just thinking of this one because that's I know that's for sure 
alcohol and substance abuse, and um, she is in reverse too, which means she's not herself and being unstable. And this is a good wife and a mother, so that's why I'm picking this up. And it's almost like it's changed her personality. And I don't think you've, you may not have talked to your parents about this, or at least your father. Or they're not talking about it. Like they're just, it's like the elephant in the room. Maybe it's both parents. And King of Wands is a boss. Okay, so you may be losing a water sign boss and getting a fire sign boss. In that, in that case, it's not a problem. But I wanted to know why each one came out because they both popped. Most of these cards popped, actually. No, they all did. Okay, so when you got more than one card, um, for the most part, except for the outcome, I clarify each card. So. Queen of Wands reversed is Five of Wands. This is fighting. Um, and it's almost like they're they're working really hard to be noticed. So if she does have a drinking problem, it's like a cry for help. Um, or it's because they're not getting attention. Like, this person's not looking. I don't see that. I'm not saying that's why they drink. They could be lonely. Because um, Queen of Cups is somebody in reverse. She wants to come out of isolation. Could be dating, too, because it's like she's coming out and being five of wands, and that, to me, can be dating sometimes. It's also, you know, working with your coworkers, for some of you. You may be coming out of isolation and working, maybe because you become a boss. I'm trying to get everything I'm seeing. And some of the stories don't go through all the cards. Except... Hmm. Well, we'll just see how it goes, because I haven't looked at everything completely just yet. So we have Five of Wands, Five of Pentacles. Okay, so I'm seeing these are temporary things, but they're just difficult. A lot of change and conflict is going on. This could be the change in conflict in the work environment, like a boss is changing. Normally, King of Wands would be reversed, but it's almost as if the Queen is. Now, you do have the, um, what do you call it, Four of Wands in here. When you have the Four and Five of Wands, it's usually a good sign. Yeah, this is somebody needing to be diligent, okay? They're struggling. And there's some uncomfortable emotions. A lot of inner conflict they're dealing with. I see clashing with a partner, possibly breaking up. Maybe due to some snap judgments. But I see people moving past the conflict and being stronger. And for those of you who are single, you could be a little upset and drinking, and you finally decided to have that courage, take the step, and go out there and date. Because King of Wands is having courage. Um, you may know somebody who's the Queen of Cups here. It doesn't have to be a mother, but that's what I see. And they're finally going to have the courage to go out there and get some help. I mean, because they realize, I'm seeing, they realize that this, there's an obstacle here and it's the drinking because it's right underneath the drinking card. Clarifying the King of Wands, we have Nine of Cups. And to me, this is usually, in the work, it's usually a boss. But here, since we have Nine of Cups twice as well, once in reverse, it could also be the, the drinking. And this is also getting what you want, so I see somebody's going to get some help And 
and nines are about almost being there, okay? So we're, we're getting close. I think they're going to realize pretty soon that they need some help. Um... Okay, with the Three of Wands in here, I'm seeing you're going to get your desires when it comes to your career or like studying. Okay. And I think it's spiritual studying. It could even be a spiritual job as well. But somebody's getting what they want. And I don't see any exams in here, but if that's the case, you're going to do well. Okay. All right, what's gonna help you? First major arcana, that's in your spread. Emperor reversed. <laughs> and to me, this is reminiscent of the King of Wands because, I mean, he's sitting on a throne. He's the king and he's fire, he has a wand. Um, but it's, just, it's just stronger because it's a major arcana, whereas he's minor. Okay. Nine of Cups, I see fulfillment. I also see greed. Six of Pentacles being near it, as well as you have Six of Pentacles reversed in your outcome, which I didn't see. It was like underneath a card, so it was kind of strange. Um, so it may be something that's not seen. It's usually talking about charity and giving. Okay, so I could see a boss who's embezzling, a boss who's overspending. And this fire sign, they may be a little abusive, okay? Because like, when I see the emperor reversed, I think of the devil reversed every time. So they may be a fire sign with Capricorn in their chart, Capricorn with fire sign. But they may be somewhat abusive, and that's why this, this other Queen of Cups person is, is drinking. I'm seeing recovery again from whatever this is. It's an authority that's cruel or abuses their power. And then again, if it's not you, like in this situation, then you're close to the crisis. So it could be family. That's what I'm, I'm seeing. It's either a boss that's doing this with you. Maybe, maybe a coworker, but uh, no. Um, I'm, I'm really seeing family here. And Four of Pentacles, this person is, it's like they're set in their ways, closed-minded. It may be this father figure, whoever this is, or a boss. They're not wanting to see something. They're not willing to agree because we have Four of Pentacles in here, and they are just, they're being stubborn. They're not listening, and there's a serious problem going on. Yeah, and with the Hierophant down here, it's, it's about some kind of a business or an organization and conforming. So again, I could see some kind of a religious institution for rehab, as well as a job um, institution or a spiritual job institution. It could be about the church um, just in general, not as an occupation. But I mean, you know how it applies to you. If I just mention it, just put it how you can. But this person doesn't want to change, or they don't want to see something. I'm seeing a lack of discipline. So again, some like some greed. Somebody doesn't have any willpower. They have too much of something. And some of you, if you're becoming a boss, you accept the position just for status reasons. It's clarified by Seven of Wands reversed. Now, these cards I don't pull in reverse, but it fell out that way. So that's how I know it's meant to be reversed for sure. <laughs> um, so this is one of your seven cards, and it's actually next to another seven card. So sevens are about investigating, finding things out. So there could be some embezzlement going on, as well as um, just exploring your beliefs, um, finding out that somebody does have a problem. But just keep in mind, okay, that the devil's reversed. So, all good. This, I'm really thinking this is your 
you know, final outcome for July. All right, so this is giving up, but it's a good thing here because I'm seeing it's giving up of something that you've been struggling with for a while or they've been struggling with for a while, which, hello, it's a bad boss or some kind of a substance that's got you in its clutches, okay? It's got, like, the devil's got you, okay? It's clarifying the emperor, so that's why I'm saying that. Something controlling. The next card that uh, came out... Now the clarification, just it popped out with the Emperor, Three of Pentacles reversed. So I can see the boss leaving a job. Um, boss not even willing to work with anybody. Um, could be you not wanting to work with somebody, or you leaving a job. Now, because the Emperor's here and he's he's a, a douchebag um, when he's in reverse, um, and you're getting out from the devil and being Four of Swords, which is getting away from something and getting some peace, I could see possible firing okay sorry um just it can happen and this is something that's going to help you okay <laughs> so i'm seeing don't don't go up against this tyrant because they're possibly leaving or you're possibly leaving or it could cause you to get fired so i'm seeing like pick your battles okay um this is being weak and that may be why somebody's Feeling like they're out of control, they feel weak. And this embezzlement, if there is some, it could just be like petty theft, okay? Because um, this is childish and petty when it's in reverse. And this person is very tight fisted, like this may be a lack of a raise. Because I'm seeing this person, mm. And that's probably why the Six of Pentacles is here. It's probably in reverse. Because that's somebody who's not giving. And Six of Pentacles is reverse in your outcome. Um, so just, yeah. Somebody's not willing to go with the program. And that could be the person with the problem. But I'm thinking they actually see it. Now, Five of Wands could be them fighting it. So you may have different groups of people. Some who recognize it and some who don't. Clarifying Three of Pentacles reverse. We have Seven of Pentacles. This is waiting for something that you cultivated a long time ago, okay? Um, sorry there's no love in here, <laughs> okay? Um, it's mostly work and family. I see you are going to gain due to success. That's what the Seven of Pentacles is all about. And you have the Nine of Cups. So there's good things in here. But this is somebody who's questioning, oh, they're questioning their lifestyle. They're questioning their choices and their relationships. And it's like they decide to leave. They're not, they're no longer going to work with something anymore. And I do see some quarreling here and not working together. And it's all around all this fighting and being defensive. So this might be during an intervention, somebody's just, mm, -mm. And they, they see themselves as innocent. But I say, you know, don't, don't um, don't worry too much, okay? Um, I'm seeing just have some hope because this is a hope card, and all the stuff you're putting in is worth the investment. Be optimistic, because eventually this person will confront this issue head on. But. And I see you're frustrated. And if, they, if it's not the drug person or the alcohol person who's confronting this issue, then it's the person who's doing something with the money. They're going to get caught. You're just kind of waiting for them to get their due. You're waiting for the payoff. I think you also want to raise, and I'm seeing they're not giving it to you. I'm seeing don't even ask for it. Because it could cause you to lose your job. But if they leave, I could see you eventually getting the raise. I'm seeing just be cool, calm, and collected like the Four of Swords. Now this person who's doing, who's not facing something, they're, they're going to have to hit rock bottom. They're going to have to go through some troubles in order to see this. So we have five of pentacles and five of wands. And 
this is in the middle of them, okay? Okay, what's gonna help you with the steps? First, we had nine of cups reversed. So I'm seeing, well, I'm not seeing drink, okay? Please don't do that. Um, it's, it's being so close to your goal and having a setback, okay? And it's saying don't give up. You may be disappointed. Um, and there may be some greed going on. I don't think it's you. I'm seeing you need to care more for your own needs. You're going to have to stop like thinking about what other people think. I also see the need to demonstrate moderation. Is this you? I mean, I did think it could be. But this is a demonstrate moderation card. Maybe something runs in your family. Because this is in unstable, and this is your strength. And then we have Queen of Cups, which is also unstable. Something's missing deep down in your work, or that void you're trying to fill with alcohol, or somebody's trying to feel, fill, I mean. It's like a disappointment that's trying to forget about it. But I mean, in your career, and in college, or studying, church maybe, you're getting what you want. Right, it's clarified by three cards that popped out, and it took forever to clarify this, okay? Like the cards didn't want to pop out, and I thought, I don't know if I want to draw. But we got three of ones. So again, getting what you want. It's some kind of organization that you're joining. Now, to me, this is usually three people and planning for the future. Like the future's out there, you have more on the horizon. But if you look, there's two people like grabbing each other's arms. Like one person's falling off the cliff and the other person's pulling them up. So there's not three hands here, but this is somebody who's like reaching out and helping somebody. So I'm thinking intervention. I think this is something that's supposed to be your strength. So either your strength is you're helping someone else or somebody else is helping you. I've also seen, you know, expanding your business, um, embrace the changes that are coming through your work area. And I do see you're going to take a leap of faith with the King of Wands here, so that's something to do if you need to. I'm seeing, yeah, take the scary step, because I'm also seeing rewards and promoted if you take the step. And it looks like you want some kind of rewards. And possibly wants to become want to become the boss. And then I also see a writer in here again with this Knight of Swords, like a journalist. I'm seeing some more competition for a job, and you're considering the opportunity. You're preparing for it. And I see somebody who's in charge, but uh, um, a little bit arrogant, like the Emperor Reverse. So be careful of that, if that's you. I'm also seeing, again, be optimistic. So you seem to be optimistic, and that's going to help you. Just so you know, this will be more responsibilities, okay? Sorry, my cats are fighting. Right, with the devil in here, you may be looking to be self-employed or you're going to leave self-employment and work for someone else. But we'll see you getting free. So it doesn't have to be self-employment. It's you choosing to leave a job and going to another. That, that could be it as well. All right, next we have two of wands. It's gonna be a waiting game. Also, courage to take a step. Again, achievement in business. Um, making a contract with somebody. And that's this is these are partnerships as well. So for those who have some kind of a an alcohol problem, substance abuse, I'm seeing uh, 
Alcoholics Anonymous because this is a pledge, an oath, and it's the real opportunity to get out of this. And this is somebody who's going to start taking responsibility and going their own way. So some of you may be going into self-employment after having a terrible work situation. And some people are going to take responsibility for their substance abuse. And if it's not you who has the substance abuse, then you're helping somebody else take responsibility. Oh my goodness. My cats, you guys. And with the em emperor here, it's an em imminent opportunity. It's coming, and it says take action. Cut it out. Sorry. They're like neck biters. They bite each other's necks all the time like they're going in for the, the kill. I do see some obstacles and some rivalry. So somebody might put up a fight um, when you try to help. Also, there's probably some kind of competition when you go for a job. Now, some of you out there are self-employed or you are going to be self-employed. And the Six of Pentacles is you are really looking hard for an investor or a broker. Also, some of you may be joining some kind of uh, police investigation, like helping them out, being interviewed for your boss that's embezzling. Or even an employee that's embezzling. And then you're self-employed, so. All right. The next card is Four of Pentacles. This is somebody embezzling. They're hoarding the money. Um, they're saving. This is going to help you. So I'm seeing to save money. Because I do have Five of Pentacles. That's something that pops up, which is money loss. Um, and with the Three of Pentacles here, it could be needing to move out of your house for whatever reason. And we do have four of wands reversed, which is, you know, a house that's not on a sturdy foundation. And the four of wands is, has the four, which is like four of pentacles. So, and you need a firm foundation. And then, yeah, we have it in your outcome is not being firm. Um, so save some money, please. Um, And I do think you're looking for some kind of payout. So it's a raise, an investor, a broker. And somebody could be taking your money if um, you're working at a particular business, whether or not you're self-employed. So do some do some investigating. So you have two sevens in here. I think you're going to find it. I also see that this is a difficult choice that you're having to make. And it involves just separation. Not, not forever, but it's leaving a job or your family member or you have to go into rehab. Okay. Oh, but I'm seeing you're going to save money or that's you or you're able to hold a secret. It could be, you know, that you're investigating or you're giving interviews for investigations, that type of thing. All right, what might pop up for you? Five of Pentacles. So leaving some kind of resource, not getting the payout you want, um, losing a job, losing a home, cutting somebody off because it's like four of swords. You've cut somebody off or somebody's cut you off. And that can be part of a cycle for somebody that you're taking to rehab. Okay. But with Six of Pentacles in here, it's, it's time for this person whoever it is. And I do see somebody writing something. So we have three of wands as well in here with the six of pentacles twice. And I'm also seeing like a, a loss of property. It could be a loss of a business, like the actual building of the business because somebody was taking money and it's a little bit kind of late. Yeah, because Six of Pentacles reverse is a warning against theft and I'm thinking it was reversed up here too. So beep, just money. Um, Ace of Wands. 
Oh, okay. This is a dream. And this is the family card as well. So I do see some family, like leaving family or going to family after you leave a job. You may have to go live with your family. So this all could still apply, like a bad job, you leave, go live with your family, and you see there's a problem going on. Um, I see a, oh, new home. New home? Okay, so you leave one home and go to another. Yay, oh. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm telling you people they're gonna be homeless. <laughs> okay, so, good news. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, money, fortune, inheritance, so. Whatever's going on here, you're, you're going to be fine. Like, look at this. Wow. Okay. This is saying go for it. Tackle your challenge if you're wanting to be self-employed or go for a job. And again, I have another be optimistic card. And also be true to your beliefs and believe in yourself. So even though there's a lot of stuff going on, this is saying you have reason to be optimistic. Every time. Um... But you're going to be in the beginning phases. This is a, a beginning. It could be a new idea or a new approach, and that's how you're changing your business. Or you approach um, this intervention with a family member in a new way, and they finally realize it. But this is tackling a challenge, and you're doing it. This is luck and income, so you're going to be super good. You may be taking a chance on some kind of new income. All right, what's your potential outcome? Okay, we got the four of wands reversed. So I see leaving a house, leaving a business. Um, also leaving oppression, which is also what Five of Pentacles is about. You, could, you may not even lose a house. It may just be leaving a place that oppressed you and you're leaving the building, like the literal building. Um, with King of Wands, I see, okay, we did have romantic surprises, but it could just be a surprise with the Knight of Swords here, saying the surprise you get is a surprise you earned with the King of Wands over here. You earned this surprise. and It may be a surprise monetary gift from a father figure or even a boss. And if you perhaps had gone to rehab before and you're having to go back, I'm seeing you're going to be much more committed this time around. Or the other person will be. It's just like maybe you weren't ready yet. Also, maybe the business that maybe a business failed previously, I don't see it, but. Or if you asked for a raise, the company just wasn't ready yet due to some kind of theft. This is also a greedy card. Why do we have so much greed here? It's like somebody doesn't want to give you money and they're being greedy. But it's also overabundance, like indulging in gluttony. And I know you would never think of the floor once as greedy, but it is. And it's like it's to a less degree compared to the Nine of Cups. This is also somebody focusing on the negative, so I'm also that's not your outcome. So even though you have all these reasons to be optimistic, it, it's like you're still focusing on negative stuff. And with that four of pinnacles, I'm seeing fear's not gonna solve anything. I mean, save, yes, but... Some people with the Four of Pentacles in here may be loyal to one idea or one approach. And I'm seeing the need to be more flexible, not being set in your ways. And that could be your boss, and you're the one trying to bring a new idea and they're not listening. Or that could be you, okay, not listening. But I'm really seeing it as a fire sign. And it could even be a religious belief, because this is a, what is it, a chupa, which is a Jewish marriage tent. Okay, um, Six of Pentacles reverse was underneath there, underneath the Four of Wands. So it's 
preparing for theft, monetary loss. Somebody's bribing, perhaps. And I'm seeing if you keep thinking or focusing on the negative, nothing's going to get reconciled. It's just going to keep going on. I'm also seeing here now, okay, now we have somebody who's giving too much. So this could be wasteful spending also. Um, you could be giving so much to something that's just not working and not getting anything back. Uh, this is lots of greed. And somebody who's decided to just accept the unsatisfying situation. Now, if it's not greed, then it's like somebody's envious or jealous. I don't know who that is, though. I also see legal matters regarding a house. And we do have the house over here. So if you're somehow getting a divorce, because we do have the Hierophant, you may be losing the house, because we do have Three of Pentacles reversed. And Five of Pentacles, but I'm seeing you getting a new one. So I don't, I don't really see too much to be worried about. I just see, need to save some money. Because somebody's, with Six of Pentacles reversed, somebody's not very vigilant. Somebody's not giving out presents. So again, not getting some money that you want or a raise. I also see this, this may not be the right time. It's not the right time to ask for it, the raise, or to ask for a gift. You're going to get it. It's just not the right time. Okay, they're all clarified by a major arcana, the Hierophant. Um, this is recompense, getting what's owed to you. Okay, so it's like a lot of things befall you, but recompense. Okay, hey Libras, guess what? That was the title of your last video. Now, in your last video, I said, okay, there's a lot of things that happen, but don't worry, you know, you're getting compensated. Well, that may be the same message, but... It took me a while to get to it because there's a lot of negative stuff going on. But I do see somebody going to rehab. Somebody's like having a coming to Jesus moment because that's what the Hierophant can be to me. <laughs> um, they're, they're letting go of the devil and they're coming to Jesus, okay? Um, sorry, that's just my little, my little talk to say we're intervening. So I do see an intervention here. And I think uh, Alcoholics Anonymous has to have some kind of a spiritual connotation to it as well. So, yeah, there's a lot of excess. I'm very surprised that Temperance didn't come out. All the other moderation cards, well, Chariot didn't. I just, I see that a lot. I also see joining a group. So previously, somebody had to leave a group. Then they get a new group, okay? And it's very encouraging. They start feeling like they're getting answers to all of these questions they've had. And also see somebody com conforming to societal norms. And I see somebody going to resources again. It's like they left them, but they're coming back. And this whole, this is your outcome, this whole experience, even though you're going to be compensated for it, it's all a lesson. And it, it reminds me of the story of Job, like all these terrible things happened to him. And then, you know, his, uh, his wife was like, you know, Job, curse God and die, pretty much. <laughs> his wife was telling him these things. And I think she died. I don't know. But... Eventually he got repaid, like double. He got the recompense. So it's like the, there is this lesson here. And it's a little bit of humility. 
and like working with other people like not keeping to yourself not hoarding things not being greedy it's like it's like being humble um more giving so that, that's that moderation not giving too much but not giving too little. There's just this fine line that you're having to work on. And I don't think it's emotions. I think it's time and money. So I'll title that for the video. Unless there's something better. <laughs> Alright guys, that was your reading. I do hope you got something from it. Let me know how it resonates. Alright, good luck.